My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire for the daily challenge for the 1st of February 2020. Character is the Watcher. Chimera, starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Red cards also now appear in rewards and shops. And Lethality. You start each combat with plus three strength. All enemies start combat with plus three strength. I'm probably going to go hyper aggressive here, what with the extra availability of red cards and the fact that we're Watcher by base. And the Watcher by base in Chimera does keep okay while well, I figure out what I'm doing uh does actually retain access to eruption the important card for this okay. should set up for a pretty good next turn that'll do all right I love the idea of cleave just for some AoE the extra strength in particular makes it much more effective um Bash is too expensive really to play, but Zap, it has to be Zap. Zap is just kind of garbage here. I don't want to go to that early of a shop. I, I fear there will be things in there that I want and cannot have. Eruption Bash. Kill with a single strike next turn, and there's definitely one in there. Headbutt, follow up, war cry. Follow up for free attack, sure. Twin Strike versus Spot Weakness. Spot Weakness is incredible. It's too good to turn down. As much as I'd love to take... Oh, Cleave, thank you. As much as I'd love to take the Twin Strike there. Two applications of our strength and damage. Lesson learned. Do I want to go with a... Uh... You know what? This probably honestly isn't actually going to be a score run. The reason I say that is because I'm probably going to try and tend as aggressive as possible. You know, worst case scenario, I might as well just try and remove the uh, the lessons learned before the end of combat. Bash cleave. I'm probably going to keep the vulnerability with the fear potion. We'll decide whether or not we do that this turn. Well, I'm not even going to attack again, so we'll decide this turn. The idea here is I'm trying to make sure that I get the uh, lessons learned out if I happen to draw it. We do. So, Eruption. Should have counted the damage in the other direction. That's my bad. Uh, Juicy Bracelet, normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms, as well as... Crush Joints? Honestly, probably power through. We want the fights to be over relatively quickly, so the second shuffle shouldn't really matter to us. Judgment versus Doubt. Uh, honestly, I can't do that to myself. Wheel kicks the panacea. Ooh, wheel kick. Got another eruption. Uh, only if eruption is upgraded do I really want it there. I'll take the wheel kick as well though. I'm very optimistic that the enemy isn't going to do a large. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I was very optimistic that the enemy wasn't going to do a large attack that turn. Oh, well. Flex like water and pressure points. The only one of these that makes sense is flex. I am still going to be padding out my deck here. Old coin, 300 gold on pickup. Get eruptions upgraded so that I can actually do a bunch of aggression after them. Great random cards. Hey, another eruption and the cleave. Neat. Upgrade another card? Hell yeah. Um... I'm going to go with power through. Lessons learned also needs an upgrade, though. Gimme. Gimme. Yeah, strawberry. All right. 
this is very, very, very much just going to be kind of run straight at the Guardian, hope the Guardian dies whilst I'm doing it. Use a vulnerability potion here just because we weren't really supplied with one by the game. Oh, threw in a big old wheel kick there. Next hand's not going to be capable of defending me well. Can it kill? Not with the amount of energy that I have. Be like follow up, eruption, lessons learned. So 14. Uh, the enemy will be vulnerable that turn. So actually it's it's 20, uh, 26, 46 total. Uh, 13. 13 should be 19. So uh, it's... 46, and then two lots of 19 is 84. Yeah, I can't kill it next turn with that. So I definitely don't use Eruption here. Bash, follow up, strike. I always knew I was going to take a huge amount of damage in this fight. That, that was always kind of part of the plan, actually. Eruption into follow-up that returns the same energy. Really wish Lessons Learned was going to be the kill here, but it's not. Sadly, it just has to set up for the kill. Hopefully in two attacks or fewer. Oh, never mind. Never mind, I'm fine. Woo! I thought I was dead there. <laughs> so they get for going aggressive. Uh, on this instance, Deus Ex Machina probably. <laughs> Give the enemies one extra strength. Fine. Fine. I need the extra energy. Yeah, I'm very much not playing for score at this point. So, uh, rare cards. Just going to add them to my deck. This is going to be a fun run, not a long one. Mm, go see armor. Neat. Mm-hmm. Bash. Eruption. Fully block the next one. And a lovely little upgrade there on Flex, too. Ooh. Thunderclap provides damage in AoE, but also vulnerability in AoE, and I love both of those. Transform. Honestly, like, I kind of want to go as aggressive as possible, like, transform one of the defends out of the deck. I'm going to do it. Body slam. Okay, never mind. That was my bad, apparently. Uh, another thunderclap is available there. I honestly feel obliged to take that and maybe even lizard tail. So that'll block four uh, each turn. Starts each combat with four plated armor. Plated armor can be decreased when I take direct HP damage from enemy attacks, but I'm not really counting that. Uh, let's go. Maybe in Tropic Brew release. What? No, I think it's Lizard Tail because I think I am going to get myself in a pretty dumb situation, take a lot of damage, and uh, Lizard Tail will save me from that. Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. That is actually so huge for us. It means we basically don't really need to defend on our first turn. Wait, lessons learned is still in the deck. In fact, there it is. <laughs> Another thunderclap. I mean, they kind of work with my build, so I'm, I'm happy to take them, especially considering I desperately need more AoE for things like this. Oh, good lord. Um, spot weakness flex. Eruption, and then lessons learned just straight up kills the backliner. I'm happy to do that. Not hugely dissimilar to me. Uh, apparently, I cannot words. Not hugely dissimilar to the amount of damage I would have been taking that turn, regardless. It's just ongoing turns that I have to worry about now. 
Especially being weakened every turn. Not loving that. Wing boots. Neat. And also to gain the max HP immediately. Uh, you can ignore paths when choosing the next room to travel to. Three times total. We'll take a wild strike here. Go for an elite. Sure. It's wheel kick just in case. Yeah. We get something that means we don't have to use another attack on an individual enemy. Really? Uh, it's probably Eruption Thunderclap Lessons Learned. So that's 16. 16 makes this uh, 28. 28, 16 is uh, Mathematics. It's 44. And then this will have Vulnerability and Double Damage. So it's 60. 60 on top of 44. That's lethal. So it's Eruption first, then Thunderclap, then Lessons Learned. Dead Brawl, one of you who's card in your deck, add a random card to your hand. Ooh, and a disarm. Yeah, I'll take that, just for boss fights, I guess. Dead Brawl is really good with miracles. Okay. We go Miracle, Eruption, Thunderclap, Thunderclap. <laughs> Great fight right there. Uh, Wimble Strike, Carve Reality, and Shrug It Off. Carve Reality is... Okay. Yeah, I'm still only getting one elite no matter what I do here. Vajra started to come back with one extra strength. Gotta love that. I'll rest. Mm -mm. Weakening every enemy on turn one as well as having the anchor and thread and needle is absolutely incredible. Obviously, I'm going to want to go for that. Kill the backliner first, though. I don't want to get debuffed. Judge. Eruption. Murder. Red Mask at the start of each combat apply one weak to all enemies, as well as... Don't actually want any of those. You did it, game. You got me to turn them down. I am so tempted to go Eruption here. It's clearly Bash Wheel Kick, though. Disarm is obviously incredible here. So disarm, thunderclap, follow up. Eesh. I'm just throwing that out for the damage. Oh well. Flex, eruption, sense of time. And pair, raise your max HP by 10. Clash? Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Yeah, I'm going to try and take Clash. I think we can actually probably use Clash in this deck. Remarkably. Uh, Sword Boomerang has to be. It's way too much damage. Even currently and unupgraded, it's absolutely incredible. I'm just going to kill you rather than put you on the ground. Exhume the miracle. Beautiful. Now the clash is playable. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Just to prove that it was playable. Just the one. Seeing red is great when you have the dead branch. Sword boomerang is so much extra damage with just that upgrade. Alright. What up, Bronze Automaton? Corruption Dead Branch, Bronze Automaton? <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Okay, so I'd boomerang up the next. Sign you again. Halt. Yeah, I'm fine with being vulnerable next turn for all the extra energy. Especially considering, you know, Corruption Dead Branch. Start with Eruption. 
Got a miracle for a card. Wheel kick there. It's another corruption. Can I stop getting those now, please? I'm uh, I'm done with my need for those. Ash Cleave Eruption. Told you I wasn't going for score, but I'm still alive, aren't I? Uh, establishment Barricade, Double Tap. I'll take the Double Tap. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Oof. Okay. <laughs> I need some draw in this deck. Give me a Pommel Strike. Uh, it's pretty much just Pommel Strike, actually. That'll well and truly do. Right. Swivel and then body slam. No, it's eruption on one of you, body slam on one of you, and then murder. Take a pre-upgraded true grid there. Only because it's pre-upgraded. Oh, clash and power through in the same hand. This is the only hand they don't work together. Uh, this is the only hand where it's a problem. You know, the hands where they're together. This is the only hand where clash is a problem. I sorry, I'm just gonna have to keep clarifying what I actually mean. Clash got upgraded. Neat. Should I go for another one? It's up against a pre-upgraded flex, though. Put another card in my deck. Nice. Giria, you can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum. Well, I'm actually okay with that. I mean, I can't rest at rest sites anyway, and most of my cards are already upgraded, so might as well. Um, then I'm going to take a block potion just to try and save me in a stressful situation. Take the hundreds. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. Well, the thing is, the amount of unupgraded cards in our deck is bash, survivor, strike, strike, defend, follow up, one body slam, one card reality, one wild strike, one scene red. And double tap, I guess. So, not that great. Uh, all the gold here is kind of probably going to... No, it doesn't necessarily go to waste. It's just the normalities are really, really, really limiting in terms of how much I can do in a turn. Fine, we'll fight the boss. Oh, hey, it's you again. Good to see you. <laughs> Dual wield the sword boomerang because it's incredible. Having a protector hold is not bad. Very much hoping to see some. Oh, there's the eruption. Neat. Okay. Protect, spot weakness, miracle, start with the eruption. Not a bad kill, honestly. Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one, as well as another crush joints. Fine. Actually, I think I turned down the first crush joints. Lift. I love starting fights with uh, with seven strength as this character. It's pretty damn good. Clash of Steel, I guess. Trip. Yeah, I need a little bit more vulnerability. Clash of Steel. This one I'm not certain about. Maybe a panic button, because I mostly just end fights immediately afterwards. Use a normal strike. Happy to do so. Flood Vile. Eh. Heal 2 HP at the start of each combat. It's not that great. Not bad, but not 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 great. So double tap a wild strike here. Mm-hmm. Pretty much how I expected this to go down, honestly. Oh, 
Although significantly better defense than I thought I was going to be able to conjure there. Definitely not how I wanted that one to go down. Please give me something exhaust. Uh, yep, foreign influence and foreign influence gives me that. There we go. Woo! I didn't want to not be able to block next turn and then the enemy to use their massive attack that turn. I was kind of expecting that I was going to eventually get a uh, attack uh, from exhausting all of those things. Silly me, apparently. Probably don't need Mind Blast. Draw a card is exhaust, draw a card. Yeah, don't need that either. Uh, Enter Carmel Wrath and Will. That uh, seems pretty good. I'm going to take that and... You know what? I'm actually going to take the Cauldron as well. Attack Potion is probably more powerful than a uh, Fire Potion for us. Start with Miracle. Let me get the Clash out just before I draw something that makes it real difficult to play, just in case. Dang it. Flurry of Blows, you should have known. Let's go Flex. Power Through sets up for Crush Joint, sets up for Follow Up, sets up for Body Slam. Really like the worship there. Place Thunderclap for a ridiculous amount of damage. Very much need to kill next turn then. Here we go. That'll probably do it. Archibeko, your first attack each combat deals six additional damage. It's a worship I don't really need. Range is nice though, I guess. Yep, I will have lifted all three times before the end of the run, which was ultimately my goal. It's double tap, thunder tap. <laughs> double tap, thunder clap, rather, sorry. And I'm getting a smite each hand as well. Gotta love that. Uh, Seven soul to get rid of the defense. Sure. Fine. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns, as well as a limit break is incredible for us. All right. There we go. Max Strength Watcher. All of these kind of suck, though. To the point that I probably shouldn't play any of them. Ooh, nasty body slam right there. You know what? I'm going to drink this and get into Roth. Carve reality. Finish you off. I'll leave the disarm there, sure. There we go as well, just to get another card out. And then double tap a body slam on the back line. Even get fully defended by the end. Love that I get to retain all my extra energy as well, by the way. Should have played the card reality. I would have had a smite in this hand. Back the panic button. It's basically the last turn I get to use it. If I use it at all, that is. Should 
Should have uh, gained the block potion first. Oh well, that's my bad. No, no multi hit, but I do get to weaken the enemy. Got him. All right, 24 minute run. Eh, 10.45, not, look, not a great score. But I kind of knew from the outset there that I was probably going to be dropping the uh, the perfect modifiers just because I find it a lot more interesting to go uh, with those modifiers in particular uh, to go for a much more hyper aggressive build. Uh, it would have been so ridiculous had we seen the limit breaks earlier, but having lethality as well as Vajra as well as a fully stocked Gyrja is pretty insane already for the moment my name is been rhapsody the name of the game has been slay the spire hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time